knowledge adventure. Have fun. Get smart. Hello there, fellow YouTubers. Rocky54167 back here again. And boy, does it feel good to be done with college and to be able to start making videos again. Now, I stated about two years ago that I was going to start finding other adventure series knowledge adventure games and put them on YouTube because the adventure series never really, I guess you could say, got a lot of attention. We YouTubers are the only ones who really seem to remember the games in detail. It's hard to find any information about them. So, I found what I believe is to be Knowledge Adventure second game. Now, this is the first 16-bit Knowledge Adventure computer game, I would guess, and it's in better quality than the Knowledge Adventure game I posted back in 2011. This game is Isaac Asimov's Science Adventure. Now, this is the first one, not the second one that you can obtain on CD. I had to get this off the internet because, once again, I'm finding a problem where all I could find was the floppy disk version. I wasn't able to actually find a CD-ROM version of it. So I downloaded I got what I can safely assume was the floppy disk version of it. I would say this was made before Space Adventure. As you'll see, it does have better sound effects, knowledge adventure, but it's still not up to par as Space Adventure. Now, it's funny to think that this game was made over 21 years ago. There we go, there's the Packard Bell starting up sound. Welcome to the, yes. welcome to the main I'm menu of Navigator. Bell. The easy way to get to know and put use your... my Packard Bell, because that's where I put all my other DOS games at. So now this one we're going to actually run from a command line through Windows. Now this will run in a DOS shell. I had also had some problems actually filming this one for some weird reason. You'll notice the video cuts up and cuts back out. Now the copyright date on this one, as right here we'll say, is 1992. This was probably made around the same time Space Adventure was, because this is heavily based in a reference center. As you see, Welcome to Space Adventure, copyright 1992. It's copyrighted to Isaac Asimov in 1989. I believe this probably was made around 91, 92, and Isaac Asimov died after this game was made. I'm not 100% sure on that. Please don't quote me on anything. I'm just giving with my information with what I know. Same thing with if anyone does know that a CD-ROM version of this game does exist, please point it out to me. Now, unlike Knowledge Adventure, I knew of this game's existence before Surfer BRG's video because I, in the KA demo I saw Science Adventure 2, so I assumed there was a Science Adventure 1. Now we click off from something similar from Space Adventure Earth. And this right here was included in Space Adventure, but you'll hear right here, it's only got a couple of seconds of music. Not that long. I do believe this was the one. One thing that is different from this in Space Adventure is that there's still no search bubbles in it. Like right there, in fact, this when you click on something, it'll take you to something randomly. Where Space Adventure, that would have taken me to Neptune. This takes me to Mercury. So, you notice though, it's got the same pointer as Space Adventure, Dinosaur Adventure, and 3D Dinosaur Adventure. That's just to show how all related the games are. So now that we're back here, yeah, the mouse freezes whenever it plays music. So <laughs> Because it does have background music, I opted not to make my own soundtrack for the video using other Hamilton Mouse dot tracks. Once again, I clicked on Neptune and it takes me to Venus. Starting in Space Adventure, that would have the speech bubbles and that would have the music playing throughout the reference page. So now, I'm going to click, or I'm just circling around the screen. I'm going to click on Neptune because I was able to type it in. And we come to a very similar article to the one that was in Space Adventure, but this one is typed a little differently. I didn't really go through the articles, I am going to state it flat out. If you guys do have any requests from this game, you'd like to see comparisons between this and Space Adventure, please let me know. Uh, I haven't been able to respond to all my comments from the past two years, but I'm definitely going to try responding to all my messages. Here we go up to the great red spot. As you notice, it won't take you to the dark spot. Now listen to this dinosaur growl. This is primitive. But this picture was later used in Dinosaur Adventure and 3D Dinosaur Adventure and Space Adventure. I'm trying to go back. We're going to go back now to 
I'm just going to click back. This does have a very uh, similar function to Space Adventure. You can go back. I thought I was having problems originally clicking on certain time points. Oh, look, there's the early computer. But apparently it doesn't go all the way back to 1 billion like Space Adventure and 3D Dinosaur Adventure does. I don't remember if Knowledge Adventure does because I really haven't explored that game too much. But right now I'm just going through each one of the buttons to show what it does offer. Now this does, you will notice this does contain pictures from 3D Body Adventure, Kid Zoo, 3D Dinosaur Adventure, and Space Adventure. In fact, Space Adventure and this are very, very similar. Except Space Adventure was a bit better with more music. More Hamilton Paul Scott uh, compositions. Oh, well, there's a cool picture. There's the Big Bang. As you hear, there's explosion. You'll notice a lot of the sound effects from this game were inserted into other games, like 3D Dinosaur Adventure, Speed. That's why I do believe this game was probably put into production in 1991, before Dinosaur Adventure and before speed or in before space adventure now here's a library notice this data back to six welcome to the science adventure PC. library this is the first knowledge adventure with spoken text right there welcoming you to science adventure i also found out there was another game from around this time period i'm going to look into getting called sports adventure i'm going to uranium It really is very interesting when you look at this game to see how it was not much longer after this that we started getting the regular adventure series games. That's how we know all of, all of these games. Well, there's Egypt. I start to go back here. Let's see, I won't make it all the way to far, far back. In fact, I don't think it, this game, I haven't really played around with it that much except today when I found it. Like I said, if anyone knows if there is a CD version of Science Adventure 1, not Science Adventure 2, please let me know. That were really far back. Now we're going to Japan and Korea. And this is as far as the game goes. It's actually 1990. We're Space Adventure at Hope for the Future. This doesn't go any farther than 1990, which... I find a little bit odd. You know, it's funny when you look at some of this information and how some of it still is accurate and how some of it isn't accurate. Like, Pluto is still called a planet in this game. I did not get the Pluto in this video. And once again, I will state, if you do want to see any comparisons between the pages between this, 3D Body Adventure, 3D Dinosaur Adventure, Dinosaur Adventure, Space Adventure, or the original Knowledge Adventure game, please shoot me off a message. I'm happy to take requests. I'm going to try and put up a video a week now, and then hopefully by the end of this year we'll get to my Jumpstart games. Africa Troubled Content. I really didn't go through that much of these uh, things, but like I said, please let, me know. Whoops. please let me know if you do have any requests. I will be happy to go through and flat out read pages for you and compare pages between this space adventure and dinosaur adventure. Now I cl clicked on the earth. That's basically one feature that hasn't changed from this game on. And right here, this picture should look familiar. When you fail the Zoomscape game in 3D Dinosaur Adventure, it should take you to a whole bunch of screens like that. That is a picture of the H-bomb going off in the abyss that was used for the meteorites going off, killing all the dinosaurs, and save the dinosaur. And now we're going to go to... Hold on a second. Now we're going to go to AIDS. Now this right here is the only picture so far I found that was the same from a 3D Body Adventure. I did not really read the article in 3D Body Adventure, but like I said, if I'm willing to do comparisons between all now all the games that I do own, which is Knowledge Adventure, Science Adventure, Space Adventure, Dinosaur Adventure, 3D Body Adventure, Kid Zoo, 3D Dinosaur Adventure, Speed, and Undersea Adventure. Well, there's a pretty cool picture.
I go to Jupiter's moons. It's funny though to see how this game and Space Adventure really are very similar. Now we're back on Africa. I'm going to try and go a little bit forward and you'll see here once I do. Now some of these pictures I believe were used in both Space and Undersea Adventure. This was taken from a satellite back in 1990, I believe, 1989, something around that, when they were mapping the world again. Cave paintings, those are cool to look at. Lightning fire. Now this was in Space Adventure, I believe, and not 100% sure, but I do believe this was in Dinosaur and 3D Dinosaur Adventure. And this is as far back as it'll let me go. 4 million BC. The space adventure goes all the way back to beginning. Continental Drift. This is definitely one, but I definitely do think it had different pictures in Dinosaur Adventure and 3D Dinosaur Adventure. I would just go back to the earliest picture. Now the Saturn system. This was taken from the Voyager. Back in 1979, 1980, either the Voyager 1 or 2. And here it talks about, this is another article I do remember being in Space Adventure, talks about how they solved the puzzle for what Galileo saw around Saturn. Age of the Sun. Oh, there's a cool picture of the sun. Now we're going to go to Haley's Comet. This is definitely a picture I know that was in Space Adventure. Now one thing different between this and Space Adventure is that it would go all the way back to the galaxy that might have been earlier in the video. I'm sorry if it was, but you cannot click on the galaxy yet. Now there's two ways to exit this game because we are at the end of the video. Welcome to the Science Adventure you can exit through Library. The library or you can exit through the help option. And you click on it and it's the same exit that Space Adventure head. And you click on it. So we're just going to go back to the library. And we are going to hit. Welcome to the Science Adventure Library. Now that he's done talking, we are going to hit the exit button. Oh, hold on. Oh, I was trying to drag this video out a little bit. Alright, so now we're going to hit the quit button. That was it for Isaac Asimov's Science Adventure. Once again, hit me up with requests. I still know i got to do a couple from Undersea Adventure. I just wrote in a right pad, which is what it was called back then on Windows for Workgroups 3.11. I wrote what my upcoming videos are. I used to have surprises every time an anniversary would happen. I try not to do that anymore. Seeing how the disastrous results went in 2010, but the successful reviews of 2012 are better. Please, like I said, you have any comparisons you want to do with the games, like from the reference pages, from Knowledge Adventure to Science Adventure to Space Adventure to Dinosaur Adventure, please let me know. These are some of the upcoming videos. Dinosaur Adventure, the CD-ROM version, will be next week. I'll put up an installation of that soon. And then upcoming videos will definitely be Bug Adventure, any other Knowledge Adventure games I find, 3D Body Adventure, 3D Diner and Kid Zoo, all those games, floppy disk version. And one thing I do want to point out, I am going to start looking for games like American Adventure, and Sports Adventure, Science Adventure 2, and the other interactive movie. Well, this is all I have to say. The rest of it's pretty much written out on the screen. Like I said, please, I am back. I am back to being seriously putting more videos on YouTube. I uh, don't have any more college to worry about. 
it's going to be like 2009 again. Let's have another good year for putting videos on YouTube. And hopefully, by the end of this year, we will get to my Jumpstart games. This is Rocky54167, trying to keep the 90s still alive.